Kettle Kitchen. So tonight I am making breakfast for dinner. I am going to be making a, a breakfast sausage, egg, and cheese with hash brown casserole in the pressure cooker. So it's a super quick meal, about 20 minutes cook time itself. So let's get going. So I have the pot on brown and saute on high and I have a half a pound of just breakfast sausage. It was just links. I just took it out of the casings. So I'm going to just kind of mash it up with my hands and drop it in the pot. Let me give a, a wash. So you're going to let that brown and get nice and crispy. And this is gonna be a pot and pot um, pressure cooker meal as well. I personally do use Pyrex. I got this bowl from Walmart, fits nicely in there. So my trivet doesn't come with handles. So I made my own, just out of aluminum foil, wrapped it around. I take it off as soon as I'm done using it. So this recipe calls for three cups of grated potatoes. I just did it myself, just because I had potatoes on hand. You can definitely use frozen hash browns, just make sure they're defrosted. I have a half a cup of milk. And I also have six eggs in here, just getting ready to be whisked. I did set aside just so I could show you guys because I pre-tapped everything before I decided to tape. So with an onion, I always cut one end off. I leave the little hairy guy on the end. I don't ever slice into my hand. Um, people can get really, really hurt that way even if your hand is flat. Just in case, onions already have layers so it's pointless to do so. So I just slice it this way and then just finally dice it. I don't use the full ends. I actually just put it in a Ziploc bag for my freezer for my stock. So I have the eggs here. I'm just gonna poke the yolks and I'm just gonna whisk it with the milk. And a little SMP. Love the smell of breakfast sausage. a little more. So even though we're doing a pot and pot, you don't have to clean this afterwards. After we brown this up and we take this all out, we're just going to add some water to it. If you want to break up the sausage even more, you can use a potato masher to make it into small little chunks. But I'll just use my fork or wooden spatula. My apologies. I'm going to whisk the eggs together just so I have them all ready. So this is going to take just a few minutes for it to brown, so I'm not going to make you watch it. So, have that. I did forget to mention that onion that I cut up. I'm going to put it right in there with the sausage. So just going to let that get all nice and browned up. Onions are going to get nice and translucent. Once the sausage is cooked through, we will remove it and put it into a separate bowl. All right, so the sausage is nice and brown. The onions have some good color. Switch out for the spoon. I'm just using a slotted spoon just in case if there's any extra grease, but there's barely anything in there. You can definitely use just regular sausage. You can use turkey sausage, chicken sausage. You could do this with bacon. It is completely up to you. You can add whatever vegetables you want. If you want asparagus or peppers, I don't have any peppers on hand. I only have onions. I still have to go shopping this weekend. I'm trying to get as much as I can. So we're just gonna put water in here. So I still have this on high. I'm going to put one cup of water in. And that's just so we can build up pressure. I'm going to put my trivet in. Put that off to the side. I'm leaving it on saute so the water can get hot. I'm going to spray this over my sink. I don't ever spray it over my stove and or my floors. 
because it causes for slipperiness. So just want to make sure it's nice and sprayed. And I'm going to put the potatoes in. It's kind of hard to see. Let me move the eggs over. All right, so I have the potatoes here. Just gonna kind of build it up the sides a little bit and thin it out. Push it down. Water starting to simmer, which is nice. <clears throat> My hands are rinsed. I'm going to salt and pepper the potatoes itself. Always season from a top to get even distribution. Mix the eggs back up. Actually, that's a lie. Put your sausage or your meat mix with your vegetables. And this goes rather quickly, so I'm just going to spread this out. Whisk the eggs and pour the eggs over. All right. Now, I am going to use a cup of cheese. You can use whatever cheese that you like. Just make sure it is shredded. I'm going to put this, you can put it right in here like this, but what I personally do, in this back, I take the trivet and I use the trivet to put it in there so I don't burn the sides of my hands. And so we're in. We're going to shut this off. Let me wipe the counter real quick. I've got some onions and salt and pepper and cheese everywhere. All right. So we're put on the lid and you want to make sure that it is in the sealed position so let me bring you up front i'm using my eight quart crock pot xl because it has a manual button so you want manual high pressure for 20 minutes and it should build up to pressure rather quickly because the water is hot and also i used room temperature eggs as well so this is going to start cooking so Taking the dogs for a walk while dinner cooks. Great timing, the buzzer went off as soon as I left in the house, got the girls on harnessed. So we have another four minutes for a natural pressure release. Now that the five minutes is up, I'm just gonna shut it off and I'm going to do a quick pressure release to release the excess to bring it down to normal. All right, so I've moved this over. Always open away from you. So I'm going to just let this sit for a moment. I would recommend possibly putting like parchment paper over the top just to go over it. Just because I do have some liquid, which I don't mind. It is part of it. But if you are worried about that, just take one of your dirty bowls and just literally spoon the water into it. This is nice and firm. There's not much steam. I think it was because when I lifted the cover and it poured into the container. So if you lift just straight up, it'll be perfectly fine. Probably about three tablespoons of liquid altogether. So there you go. We have our nice sausage, egg, cheese, and hash brown casserole. Now it's time to serve up. A better close-up shot. I am going to let this sit here for five minutes just to let it set up before I cut it. So it set up nicely and now it's time to serve. Enjoy! <laughs> 